So tell me, after all these years, for how long have you been cheating? It has not happened. Lie again, you are a man. It never happened. Yes. This treason has happened before. Time and time again, Tanabad. How would I ever trust you again, young man? Look, Serge, you know me, Serge. I've never been dishonest in my life. You know that, Serge. Was it for no hurt? <laughs> Serge. I mean, after all these years, we, when I thought we are the men, we sacrifice their life. We sacrifice their sweat. We sacrifice their blood for this cause. Was it for this, Janabar? Serge, we did make a sacrifice. The only problem was to come out of that place alive. You're a tag man! You're running around saying one thing over and over again. <coughs> Go fucking straight to the point. Was this for this, Janabar? For what, Serge? <laughs> Stand up and look at yourself. Look at yourself, how old is this? You turn out to be just a cheap crook. And not only that, you turn out to be treasurers as well. I find you guilty of disloyalty and betrayal to your superior officer. Yes, sir. And I trust that you. I trusted you, Janabar. I planned all the maneuvers. All the maneuvers. Can't you know you are using me? You are using my plans for your own enrichment, Janabar. Honestly, Serge, I have never done that, Serge. I'm being honest, you know me. All these years, the poor old Satan mayor sits on a bench. He cannot move, he cannot walk. Planning, cracking his brains. For what day to day survival, Chanabari? Well, when are you are busy filling your tummy with buttered bread and mashangana bologna? <laughs> May the mashangana chuck you to death. <laughs> Serge, I always brought food and money to you after each and every work. You know, Serge. Why don't you admit it? <laughs> Just a burden to you, Chanabari. No, Serge, you know. You care about me. Just go, you don't care about it. Just go, take your money and go there. No, sir. No. You forgot that I told you everything that you know about Sabaiwa I told you how to draft a plan of action. I told you how to follow it, Janabari. When we were fighting in the wars of freedom, it was me who told you the art of survival under hostile conditions. After this war for freedom, it was me again who taught you how to survive within the civilians. Today you are showing me how ungrateful that you are. Serge, <coughs> let me hop down to the shop and get us some nice tobacco to smoke. I'm coming now. <laughs> Come back here and you need to wait. Stand your attention. Stand your attention, damn it! You know what? I find you guilt of gross insubordination and of high treason. Your sentence is nothing, you don't worry. It's nothing but death before a fire squad. What are those two nerves up to? Hey, hey, what are you up to? Ah. Officer. <laughs> Good morning, Officer Yak. Good morning, Officer. That are usually games, huh? Ah, uh, Munna, this is just a game where you take You know what? I've come here to tell you that you need to take your carcasses out of this park. Last week I was here, I told you we are not prepared and we won't tolerate this hoggerness of yours, especially in the city centre. But officer, you're not doing any harm. You can see the part is the same as how you left it just be. Moreover, <coughs> officer, now we are the veterans of the wars of freedom. You know, you're not anybody so a tourist attraction. So that is what the city fathers are saying, uh, uh, officer. And the parliamentarians. City fathers or no city fathers. Duty is duty, my dear friends. Now for sake, out you go. Hey, 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 what are we? <laughs> officer! <laughs> Just look at your uniform, Momo. Well placed, nice crease. I like it, Obisi. Thank you, man. How about you, man?
Remind me to recommend you for promotion next time your superiors pass by you. Oh. <sighs> 